hi guys and welcome to my channel in this video i will be teaching you how to add pictures gfs and all that stuff into your videos using this app and i will also be showing you the reason why this app is not working for it and the best app to use for that same method and the easiest way to go about it and i will be sharing with you guys all the tips tricks and everything i do to download certain things to add to my videos i will be spilling everything out so stay tuned watch to the end so you enjoy this episode i bring to you all right guys let's continue so let's talk about the first app you saw earlier which is the s recorder app this app can only help you do your short videos just like your tiktok so just like your instagram reel that's what that app is best used for but many people just want to use that app for full editing but that's not what the app is designed for s recorder is a recording app that just has simple features of how you can edit your pictures and also how you can just do simple video shots or clip from it that doesn't mean that it goes in depth into video editing so that's why s recorder is not good for this kind of aspects which is about adding pictures adding gifs adding clip adding emojis and other stuff into your videos s recorder doesn't have those stuff in it now that is why s recorder is different so i have a lot of videos about how to use your s recorder the screen recorder how to record videos with it how to do different things on it so just check my playlist to see more content about s recorder but for this same question you guys have asked me shout out to the person who commented with the question and i hope you are watching this to learn from me so tell me in the comment section if you end up understanding why and why the app you were using was not working and why this app is best and if you have tried it out tell me in the comment section and i hope this app other people too finally i have a video in the s recorder app now check the difference between this app and the next app i will be talking about now you can see that i couldn't find any place to add sticker in the s recorder except to add text and the text is just simple text where you can add color and every other stuff you just need to add in that area but look at the front page of the s recorder you only have trim you have text you have every just short, short things of things you can do you have the editing music okay there's no sticker those are the things you have in the s recorder so that is why s recorder is not good for this aspect now i just finished clicking on the picture editing aspect of the s recorder can you see the s recorder is just helping you to edit your picture it doesn't even have anything to add to the effect of the picture as you can see until you even download more like the pro version and, and i'll show sure away that definitely that will also have it but there is this simple app that helps you take the stress off and does this video editing to the best way of individual ability depending on how good you are in designing and how good you are in creating videos ideas and bringing them into life that's what this particular app is good for which is the in short app so now we'll be teaching you how i do edit some of my videos you see on my page with that same video sample i brought in earlier so let's get into it now i'm going to be selecting where the particular video is so i've clicked on new project to select the particular video i want and i'll click on ok to import it now the first first thing in the in shot is that you click on the canvas and select the frame rate size which is the system by nine if you know you are editing for a youtube video and if you know you are editing for a youtube shot or tiktok that's when you use nine by sixteen i hope that is clear so if that's clear then afterward you go to your crop also click that crop area and you'll be able to select sixteen by nine also in the crop aspect so that the frame rate of the video will be equivalent now this particular video was shot far away closer a little bit but you know the way you record the phone is quite different from i to end up showing so now i'm back at my canvas yeah i want to make the frame rate a little bit bold that is why you saw me dragging it enlarging it so it will be clear and i will be a little bit closer to the camera for the viewer so that's why that aspect in this in short app is very important for you to know and understand how to do your video you don't want to be far away from your viewers view if you understand what i'm saying so that's why you have to bring yourself closer to the camera or 
to the video editing you are doing so i hope that is clear now let's move to the next thing you can also do using this InShot app these are the various items you can go through so just learn each of them individually and if you want to know about it more you can check my playlist to see an InShot video editing tutorial i have that in my playlist so for this topic we are talking about all i'm just going to be teaching you guys how to add your text how to add your pictures how to add gifs how to add stickers how to add certain things on your picture or your on your video while editing that is what we are going to be talking about in this aspect so now i'll be clicking on my stickers and you see this aspect of stickers blinking and everything these are the stickers pictures that i've added to my videos in one way or the other and it's saving here so i will be showing you how i do get some of the things you see on my videos so watch to the end to know about that but in this aspect i will be showing the things i already have in my gallery and how i do fix them and upload them on my videos and make them show while my video is playing so this as well is just depending on this area while you are editing you just have to be careful so you'll be able to put each pictures or each divs to the point where you need they are needed like example maybe probably you were like oh i saw this picture so when you want to put that picture while you are editing you put it at that point where you said that statement look at this picture i saw this picture so that's basically how to edit while adding all these items but anyways let's go on by me teaching you the first thing i do whenever i want to add anything to my video is my name that is my channel name and this youtube logo so i love to add this youtube logo to my videos and my channel name so viewers can also see it probably they they aren't seeing it but i just love it i i don't know if they are not seeing it but i just love seeing it in my video so it's something i can tell you to try also now the shot makes it easy for us to play it from beginning to the end of the video so the thing i'll just click on allow clip to the end or allow video to the end so i click on it then it stays to the end of the video the next thing i do is to click on a way to design the picture or item i brought in if i want it to be dancing shaking blinking any how i will be clicking on this edit after clicking on the item i brought in but watch how i'm going to be doing that next on another kind of design like secondly i will be typing my name which is kausara abdifata if you are new you're welcome to my channel in this channel we teach ourselves personal development with videos video creation how to improve how to do best that's it that's what we do here so if this is where you're interested in don't forget to click that red notification button so you will be notified anytime i upload a new one and subscribe to this channel thank you and i would love to have you in this community thank you so i'm done typing the cursor of the photo i will also be clicking the video to the end instead of click to the end because i want the name to be showing throughout the entire video so i will be doing it from the beginning and also at the end so that's another easy way to put your name or your logo from beginning to the end but i think i've typed my whole name instead of my channel name so i will be cleaning it and adjusting it to the right place so all you just have to do is pinch it and reduce it just for it to fit so it won't be too bold it won't be too small but it will be portable so while you're doing it you'll be seeing each errors and each way to do it best but you know this is just a tutorial for you to understand what you're doing so get the concept i love it being on the same line so i will be adjusting it to make sure they are both staying at the same place same area they are giving me a good item sometimes while i'm doing it sometimes i mistakenly click it by deleting it that says clicking on that x red x beside it but that's just how editing is then i bring it back in just like i just did and i will be adjusting it for it to fit sometimes i might not be adjusting the image it might be the text but that's how i do adjust and put my name on my videos as you can see it on the screen so the next aspect i will be talking about now is how to import clip and gfs and pictures but if you are done with this make sure they are both on the same line then you go to the next thing so your editing will be scattered all around 
and you'll be able to identify them whenever you want to make corrections moving on to the next aspect is how i will be putting a subscribe button a subscription button and also how to put some design on it the first thing i do after importing the subscribe button into my video is for me to place it or think of the exact point i want it to be showing whereas the viewers will be able to see it and understand that oh this guy's trying to tell us to subscribe to our channel and all that stuff so it also beautified the video so i love to put it in my video so i will put it also video to the end and video to the beginning that's it i want it to be playing from beginning of the video to the end of the video so they can know that yes yeah, this is serious business guys make sure you subscribe to this channel it's not easy doing all of this i try to keep up and also attend to your comment and also reply back and do the things you ask of me so guys support this girl by subscribing to our channel thank you so after doing that i will be clicking on this you'll be seeing that the subscribe button will be adjusting like okay let me take this again i'm going to be bringing two samples like this picture you saw now and the subscribe button so these two things are what i'll be using as sample so now i just click on the edits i tapped on the image i just brought in and i click on edit so i'll be clicking on this loop below to choose or select a kind of flitter on the image but you know this flitter is not about coloring the flitter or the image this flitter is just like designing or putting a kind of blink a kind of i don't know how best to put it but that's what that flitter is all about so we have the basic and the loop in that area so you just have to choose the one you want your image to be looking like so you click on edit then it will show you where you want it to be like now i just imported another image to the video so this image can just stay at the side. Probably I'm talking about something and I'm making reference to something. Then this image can just pop out at that particular side. So this is why I love doing these things. It keeps the viewer watching and they understand what you are trying to do. Now, the next thing I will be teaching you is how I also used to add phone sticker to my videos. And you see it as if it is playing from the phone well yes it's playing from the phone but this is the sacred gosh i'm spilling all the teas in this video anyways this is just for you to improve in your video creation i love to see us at the top all right so now that's it i have this png of phone sample and i just include it in my videos now look at this the g fees but you have to own your data to be able to see this g fees sample so we have different trending home and other stuff so you just select the one that goes with what you are trying to say in that video so that's what you got to do now the editing aspect i did earlier is what is making the image blink so now I'll click on edit again and change how it will be blinking i just want it to stop so i'll be using basic but when you're using loop it depends on the design or style you want it to look like so now if i should play the video you'll be saying that it will not be looking like that so i finally changed it to basic i'll be clicking on the mark sign so it's okay this way now you can see these are the ways i switch i just import stickers and everything to my videos now this this is how i get those png images first thing i will be going to my browser any browser you make use of on your phone then you type depending on what you want to look for just note that you have to add png at the end of each things you are looking for so it can bring out a transparent image whereby you can be able to use it in the InShot app moreover if it brings out it with a background like if it comes out with a background at the back well to know if it's is for in short or is without the background when you take it to in short it will be showing you the background so you know this thing is not transparent so i will be teaching you how to remove the background in the next method but this is just a simple way to tell you how to download simple and effortless png without any disturbance directly and it will be transparent for you to be able to use it properly for your in short app while editing so now all i will be doing is just typing subscription logo png file that's all subscription logo png transparent anyhow you want to 
put it anyhow you want to arrange the sentence just make sure png is there so that you can get subscription or any image you're looking for in a plain way so it will be showing in the InShot app without you adding a background to it the same way we look for the subscription logo is the same way i will be looking for the phone logo yeah so you just have to click on phone png download file so it will be bringing this sample if this is what you are looking for then just click on mobile phone like just arrange it but make sure you put it png so it can come out in a transparent form easily instead of you going back to change background and other stuff so watch how i'm going to be changing background of a certain item just as an example so you can know how to use this app for that purpose which is called the erase background app so watch out for it yeah i added downloaded file i did and you can see they are all in a white background sometimes it comes as a black background in whenever it is transparent so that's a way to identify but that doesn't mean that when you take it to in shots it will be showing the black or the white no it will become transparent as long as you downloaded it in a png so if you do that well then you are good to go see as an example i just brought in that sample of the subscribe button you can see it's very transparent so i can just crop it crop it and adjust it to preference the way i want it to look like in my video so that's just basically what i'm going to be doing with it so that's how you can do it well if you now want to add every other thing you feel like i guess now you know how to do it well and do it best i hope this tutorial was helpful tell me in the comment section what you learned and what other things you would like to know more on i will be glad to do and listen to you guys so the next thing i have for you guys is this app called the eraser background app so it helps you clean background of your image probably you want to change the background of your image probably you want to do anything concerning the background of your image all you have to do is download this app from play store on your phone then you are good to go so it asks you to click on whatever items you want to erase the background of so i'll be clicking on this particular image that i just screenshot and i will be clicking on the eraser so clicking on the eraser to clean it manually and you can also click on the other items in this app to clean it automatically but i think i prefer it this way so i will be offering the offset so it will be equal while i clean it up to my preference but this is just an example if i'm doing this on for my youtube video i'm gonna be taking my time in doing it so take your time while editing don't rush be calm and then you are good to go on this channel so i hope these tips were helpful you will be seeing this app now in the in so you can see the difference between downloading a more transparent background and also cleaning the background yourself but either ways i think they are good to go just save it from that app then you come back to your insert click on sticker and click on this plus sign then you import it into your video so as you can see the background is gone you see so that's how good this app is so you can try that out on your leisure time and then comment tell me in the comment section what you learned so far i would love to hear your review and feedback from you guys so i hope you understand now Thank another trick you can use while editing on your insert is like maybe you want to cut the beginning of that video to a point where you are good with it and you also want to clean this area so that you can be able to save your video properly like you've typed and you edited then you deleted a part in the video you'll be seeing this thin line showing that these items have exceed the normal area so you, all you have to do is this item and method that we'll be teaching you now so i will be re editing this area back by clicking on that arrow key which will return it back now it is now there so i will be clicking on it then i'll click on split and i'll click on delete so that's how to delete it so i hope this is clear and helpful to you so the next thing i will be doing is to save this particular video and if you want to watch it i will be putting the link in the description box bye, bye.